Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by OneFootball, the app that keeps you up to date with the latest scores, transfer rumours and stats. All in the one place to download the app. Click the link in the description. Galatasaray are apparently ready to double Henry Onyekuru's uh, salary rather in a bid to keep him in Turkey next season. Galatasaray have inquired about uh, Everton's young Nigerian striker and about keeping him on loan for another year. It's not sure, you know, we're not, not sure yet what Everton are going to do with him. Obviously, he has been unable to get a work permit up to now, but it's expected to go to the African Cup of Nations, which would aid his opportunities of getting a work permit in this country. Um, it, I suppose it just depends whether Marco Silva thinks that Onyekuru can fit into his squad should he be successful in a work permit. He scored 15 goals this season for Galatasaray. I personally think it's worth Everton taking the look at him. He looks quick. He looks like he knows where the net is. Um, he's obviously a young, you know, 21 years of age. He's definitely worth having a look at for me. We'll have to see what happens. But Galatasaray, very, very keen on keeping him in Turkey. It'll be interesting to see whether you know, he's been linked with Borussia Dortmund as well. It'll be interesting to see whether any bids come in for him. And if that was the case, what Everton would do. But I'd like us to at least get him on pre-season and have a good look at him before we make any rash decisions. Um, there was some disappointing news for Everton today in terms of Chelsea's transfer ban being upheld. Obviously, Everton are hopeful of getting Kurt Zuma from Chelsea on a permanent deal in the summer. Chelsea's ban has been upheld. Now, apparently, they are going to take it to the court of arbitration. A lot of journalists are saying that if they do this, then that means that the ban could potentially be put on hold until the January transfer window in 2020. If that's the case, then obviously Everton would then have an opportunity of trying to bring Kurt in on a permanent deal in the summer. Not sure how long they're going to have to wait for that decision, but that is what Chelsea are about to do. So we'll have to wait and see. Yesterday, uh, a lot of newspapers reporting that Everton faced a fight to keep Andre Gomez. Today, a few of those newspapers are reporting that Gomez is very, very open to staying at Goodison Park, despite interest from the likes of Tottenham and Milan. They make Everton the favourites to sign the Portuguese international. Let's hope that is the case. Let's get Everton get him tied down to a permanent deal this summer and try and do it early so we can you know, move forward in terms of our pre-season preparations. Uh, one player who will be, re or it looks like he may be returning to Everton this pre-season is Kuka Martina. Uh, some Dutch newspapers reporting that PSV, uh, sorry, Feyenoord are not going to keep um, Martina. You know, Everton had an agreement in place with them when he went there on loan, but it looks as though he may be returning to the club in the summer. He's got a year left of his contract, so it's another play that Everton will have to then try and move out again in uh, the summer months. You know, Marcel Brands will be a bit disappointed with that because I'm quite sure he would have hoped that that deal would have been done and it would have been one less to worry about. Um, PSV have named their price for Evan Lozano. I know that Marcel Brands has said we've had no contact with the player with regards to a move. PSV won £35 million for the Mexican winger. Will, Mar you know, will Marcel Brands and Marco Silva be tempted by that? We don't know. Brands has said we haven't been in contact with him. Who knows whether he's, you know, he's, he's talking straight there or, you know, whether Everton have actually been talking to the player who was open to a move to England earlier in the season. But thirty-five million pounds is apparently the fee that it's going to take to get Lozano out of PSV. And finally, we've been down at Finch Farm today. We spoke to Seamus Coleman. That interview is going to be out very shortly. If it isn't already by the time you watch this video. So check it out. Seamus was open and honest as usual. And it was a really good chat. So there you go. If you haven't subscribed, do it now. It takes a sec. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you want more videos, become a patron. £3 a month. It's worth it. Get over there and check that out. See you later.